at Clemson, they're, um, the major is health science, and then the concentration is cardiovascular imaging leadership. With that, you get to learn how to do ultrasounds on the heart, arteries, and veins. Um, by the time you graduate, you will be able to take two exams, and once you pass those, you'll be labeled as a cardiovascular sonographer. And it's a four-year program. It's only one of eight programs in the U.S. that's nationally accredited, and it is an undergrad program. And I think it's one of the most unique just because you get a dual credential with echo and vascular. I would say if a student was to enter this program, my advice would to be um, to absorb, to be like a sponge and just absorb everything around you. Um, be open-minded, ask a lot of questions. There really is an unlimited amount of resource in this program as far as the education uh, material that they have in their library and as well as all the brilliant people you get to work with from the senior techs to the physicians at the clinical sites. I would say set goals for yourself. I think it's really important to come in and let your preceptors know know what you're going to be working towards and so if you sometimes if you let them know then they help you get to that goal and so my thing is is set a list, set a date, what you want to have accomplished by the end of that date or by the end of that week. And so it just helps you, it helps you grow. It helps you grow in your scanning ability. And that's probably the biggest thing that I would say is to prepare yourself with goals. Some advice that I would give a student just coming in, it doesn't have anything to do with your scanning abilities or how smart you are or anything. It's just being able to take criticism from those who actually know what they're talking about, who've been doing this for years, and who just want to see you be better and actually progress through the program. So take criticism lightly, but also be able to apply it sort of like corrective criticism. Don't feel down whenever you are criticized because we come in contact with a lot of different sonographers and a lot of personalities and they've come from many different backgrounds so they have a lot to offer us so you just have to take everything in as it comes and know that it's useful. I guess my best advice would be uh, make sure you're dedicated when you, you come in. You make sure you figure out that this is what you want to do because this is not a program uh, that you can just halfway do it. You got to be fully committed because it takes a lot of time to do this. This is not something you can just read and memorize it. You got to really study which, what we learn here because it's, it can affect a patient's life and everything. Uh, and also, I would say be prepared to fail. You're going to fail. Uh, this is hard. I mean, scanning is hard. I thought I could you know, just walk in here and do it, but you can't. You got to practice and practice and practice, and you're going to fail in the in the scan lab in your junior year, and you're going to fail in the clinical fields. So there's going to be patients that you're not going to be able to do right away, but you got to just let that go, keep working at it, because you, you can. By the end of the program, you'll be able to do it.